Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 20. Last time was probably one of the, at least in the top 5, top 10 of all-time episodes of this show. I would argue, once I go through the entire list, I would argue in the top 5 for sure. Um, it really answered quite a few things, but then, as we've seen through the show, tacked on a ton more questions... So I've been waiting, like, this week has, I think, been the longest wait compared to all the others uh, of this show so far for me. Um, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123. And let's go ahead and start. Oh, brought him up to, to think how he thinks now or something? I think we all understand how Zeke would feel seeing this, seeing that, like, he just moved on from his old family and to have another family not think about everything. Of course, he's going to think of Grisha like that because it was his, you know, that's his birth dad. We didn't get to really see early life, uh, Aaron and Grisha while he was in paradise. That's a horrible realization. You know, it also feels like Zeke has complete control to see every memory, which is kind of insane because... Uh, Aaron, it seemed like we, we got to see Grisha, a bit of Grisha's past, but Aaron seemed to have no control over it at all when he used it. So it seems like it's unlimited potential. You could see anything possible that you want to see uh, from this memory, right? It, I, I would think you'd want to see everything. Wow. Grisha's really interacted with a lot of people that we've seen through the show. So we'd known about this place way early. What does this mean? Even Zeke is surprised. Oh, but this has also got to be bad for Zeke because he's seeing him caring about Aaron, caring about this new family, but, uh, and he just expected them to be not treated, being treated the same way that he was treated when he was a kid. I, I, I think this is hurting him more than it's hurting Aaron. How can he s what is happening? How can he see him? Are all these memories like tied up? It's seeming like did he affect that memory by watching it and being there? That's what it felt like right there. Like they affected because he saw Zeke standing there. So them being there, is it affecting like the memory itself? Because that opens up a whole nother... I mean, we saw some weird stuff. We've already seen some weird stuff. Remember, at the end of Season 3, when we saw Grisha's original memories, we saw uh, that the Aaron that had... Uh, I'm forgetting his last name right now, but the Aaron that had... The guy named uh, uh, Aaron that had the uh, attack, uh, or attack Titan previously, he said to save Mikasa and Armin, right? So are these... Like, we already know that these memories could, you know connect or could be tied to stuff but that really opens up like being able to affect the memories like that 
does that change like the present? Does it like, it's just, it's one of those things that it's, I, I, I can't wait till this is explained completely. Feels like Aaron is not reacting anywhere near the way that Zeke wanted him to react. I feel like Aaron is either one seen these memories before or two like or but also the way he's re I don't know. That's I guess that's more of a theory. Like he could either be knowing like he's seen these before or he's just not surprised in general. Well, I can answer that. It's because he saw Grisha's memories. You would have think that would affect some stuff or make him think like his dad a little bit. Aaron, I, and I said this way back in season one and way, way back, like Aaron acted a lot different than we had seen him. Uh, through the show when that one when he saves Mikasa and it shows how he like his expression the way he's acting to how he acts through season one season two it was a lot different and I said that was like going from that to acting kind of normal-ish uh, you know from the you know the first episode and stuff it, it confused me a little bit if that is is he saying that's how he's always been he's always how he acts now which we thought is really weird because in season four the way he acted, the way he uh, did things was really serious. And I thought it had to do with like him just seeing Grisha's memories and making him just think differently and have to uh, react differently. But could it be that he was he was he acting the whole time or was it just he acted different because of things that happened? I don't know. I, I, we got to we got to find out more info. What does that mean? Which is kind of sad, because I think that's what Zeke wanted. Aaron is flipping this on Zeke. So this is making him like his dad. There's just something that seems off. He's trying to be that exact influence. He set that all up so Aaron could read that in the basement. We know that. And now he's seeing Aaron grown up. That's got to be affecting stuff, right? You would think. Oh, this is the first episode. See, this is how I remember him. I thought this was normal Aaron right here, but he's saying he was always the other way. And I remember this. Maybe it's just the way they're showing it there, but I remember, I, you know, I've been rewatching episodes. So like the first episode, I remember it just being said a little bit differently in just a different tone, but maybe it wasn't like it was going close up on his face like that and everything. It just seeing it from that perspective is a lot different. Like him even saying that it looks like he doesn't even... Does he really want to show him the basement? I mean, it just, it, it, he seems so, like, affected by that. I'm 
I mean, we're seeing, it's funny. It's like watching the first episode again, seeing that, but from, I mean, kind of from an outside perspective a bit, but also I love how we're, I don't know, they're making everything that Grisha's done. They're making, they're humanizing him more. It feels like it's not just as, as us as a viewer being able to see it from his perspective like this past what we saw in season three. It seems like a continuation of that a little bit, but also Zeke is obviously affected and it really feels like this is more hurting him than it's hurting Aaron, though we've seen Aaron a little, especially during that last scene in season one, he looked perplexed and kind of like what makes me think like it's like he forgot how he acted then or something or like it's like he's, you know, his uh, his when once he meets Mikasa and it feels like from that point to episode one or something it's like in his experience with his mom his dad he seems to me more normal but the way from what he said he's always been like that since he was born he was always how he is so why is it different there why is our perspective and everything that we saw in the first few seasons him acting completely different that's all i want them to tell us i i, I just want it just freaking spell it out coordinate the place where all paths intersect there time is both instant and infinite it just it seriously there's a bucket of, po of possibilities here セミから逃れてはいけません。我々読みるの民は裁かれる日が来たのです。現代戦の悲劇で悟りました。誰かが人の手から巨人の力を守らねばならない。我々は罪に向け入れ滅びゆく他ないのです。あのお姉ちゃんとは気が。Yep, yeah. Holy shit. And this is what Aaron doesn't want. He has more hatred than Grisha does here. Well, he learned a bunch of stuff when he inherited it. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? The attack titan can glimpse into the memories of its future, future inheritors. So he saw Grisha. Is Grisha reacting like this because he saw Aaron, like Aaron uh, fighting and doing stuff in the future? And that's why... Grisha does does what he's doing here is because he saw a vision of Aaron doing something or Aaron being affected. And does that mean that Aaron has seen somebody that takes the attack Titan after him and uh, and is affected by that as well? Because that seems a lot different than everybody else seeing the they have always said they've been able to see memories of the past. That's that uh, that would explain Aaron's thoughts completely if he sees the future of stuff and shit going bad that would make complete sense and that's why aaron acts the way he does equal complete it all makes sense aaron's known the future what a twist so he's going off of Aaron's memories or anybody, it might even go further than that. Of previous things, he's, because he's seen the future, he's trying to change the future by doing something. Obviously, that's why he's experiencing that. And maybe that's why Aaron's made a lot of decisions the way he's done it is because he's trying to make the future not happen. But that's, I mean, there's a whole ton of issues that could go with that as well. And, and doesn't this seem like a double fuck? Because Aaron's seeing him doing this he saw the past and the future he's seeing him do that so obviously that didn't work but he's seeing the it's just a whole fucking future past time tw fucking it's a fu it's a it's a time fuck up in the head
But them seeing this, is he gonna... Oh, are they changing the past? Is he not doing this now? Then how did he do it the first time? What does this mean? Is shit gonna change? <laughs> this is changing completely everything. So he's forced. To, he doesn't want to do it, but he's forced. What the fuck? How is Aaron changing him? Even after death. He said that before. But he didn't say- Aren't you the one who started this story? Holy fucking shit! Was Aaron talking to Aaron Kruger when he was saying that? Was Aaron there in that memory, changing it and making him go through this the whole time? Aaron is the one that reacted and, and made everything happen the way it does. But what the fuck does that mean? And that's how he gets to this point. Aaron's the one that did it. What the fuck, dude? What? The this story has so many layers. So many layers. He didn't want to do it at all. Aaron made him do it. Holy shit! What the fuck? That's why he went insane. I feel bad for Grisha! Aaron was using you the whole time to see this too. Aaron's been using everybody. Holy shit! Grisha has it the worst! He's just a puppet! You know what we learned? Aaron really is the villain. He really is the villain. It's not that we didn't know that, but this fucking cements it. You, you can't. How? Aaron's been playing you. What the fuck? Holy, holy fucking, holy, holy fucking shit. Holy... I never thought I would feel, I mean, I, I felt bad for Grisha when we saw his past memories, right? Like to, a little bit of it, I, 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 I felt bad, but some of the stuff didn't make any sense. But now if Aaron has been using everything, he said he was always the same. He was always, I don't feel like we learned everything, but the time thing seems strange to me because Grisha saw the future, right? He can see, uh, he, he's seeing the future. He's seeing what Aaron's done. He's even seeing those memories now. And he, and he knows what Aaron's going to do afterwards. So he feels bad for Zeke. He can see them being there. That seems like so time twisted, but didn't, this is the, the, the part that gets confusing and time, whenever time travel or anything, anytime time's involved, things can get weird. Plot holes can happen. Any show I've ever seen with time travel, things can get very weird. But what makes me, this is what makes me think if they're seeing this and this stuff already happened the way it already happened, right? Does that mean, cause time, I guess, doesn't mean anything when it comes to this stuff happening. That's the way it seemed to be explained. So when before Aaron gets killed, everything that's happened then, this already happened before. So it, 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 
then does that mean anything really has changed? Like, I thought I thought there was going to be a different result. I, I don't know if you guys let me know what you thought was going to happen here. Once he started saying this stuff, I thought that he wasn't going to kill them. And then they would have and then another thing would happen, like a different result. That's what I thought. I thought a different result was going to happen and then maybe change the future that way. That That's what I thought the the uh, the attack Titan being able to see the uh, the, the future and uh, for future people that have had it or, or future people that are going to have it. You would think Aaron is trying to uh, being able to do this and see the past and stuff, maybe changing the past so that future doesn't happen. That's what I thought was going to happen here. But instead, it seems like the same result, except knowing where it's coming from. So what does that mean for uh, the future? Like, what, wh how does this change? This is what makes me a little confused is how does this change anything other than Zeke's perspective, of course. Zeke is, uh, he went in there trying to change Aaron, but it, Aaron fucking said, fuck you. I'm the one that's actually the, the one, fu the, uh, the one controlling this shit. Fuck you. And he flipped it. Uh, he completely, excuse me. He completely flipped it on Zeke. I feel, I, I feel for Zeke. I feel for Grisha. I've always tried to, even with all this bad stuff happening, I have tried to see it through Aaron. I've tried to go from his perspective of why he would be doing that. And even to this point, him knowing the future of that, that made, that clicked to me. Okay, okay, he knows things are gonna go bad. So of course he'd try to do, if he's seen these past events, he'd try to do certain things to, to make it perfect. But why do the same thing he just did there? And he still reacted the same way, still mad as shit as he saw it the first time. He's seen this memory before, we saw him see it. So there seems to be some, at least a small, tiny detail that's not being told. It gave us, just like last episode, it gave us a lot. And I'm gonna rewatch this. You guys can let me know anything that I got wrong or didn't notice in the comments, for sure. I just, I did not realize, I, I, like I said, everything I saw in here, it seems like it's going, everything is happening the same way, except he, uh, except we're knowing that Grisha was mindful. I mean, he's got fucking Aaron, like he's seen these memories, so he knows Aaron is, I don't know. Grisha seems like a tra, he seems like a fucking tragic character to me. Zeke too. I mean, there's a lot of tragic characters, but Grisha seems, I mean, he didn't want any of that to happen. It's not like he had no feelings, which is the way it seemed to be displayed. Like he was twisted for no reason. Uh, that's what it seemed to be displayed through this entire show from what we saw there. Why would he do all that? Why did he look insane when he's, you know, trying to make, uh, give Aaron his Titan or whatever, but instead he was, Aaron's there already fucking telling him you're, you're, you know, you, you have to do this. Remember this, remember that. And the same thing with, we saw Aaron Kruger. It feels like to me, was that real? Was Aaron there too telling him that stuff? That's the only thing that makes sense. Why would he say to save Mikasa and Armin? But then there also seems to be Aaron could see the future. So maybe something else happens. And that's why he's acting the way he's acting to do this to Grisha, because that's the only way this will change. I, it just, it's so, it's so many fucking, there's so many layers. This story is insane. Holy shit. Oh my God. I, I'm going to definitely rewatch. Uh, in the intro to next week, uh, if I missed anything or whatever, if I notice anything in my rewatch, I'll let you guys know. Um, seriously, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, obviously. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification be uh, bell. I'm I'm really, I'm visibly like shaken right now from this. I'm like, gr the way Grisha r was right there literally fucking hit me in the heart. Like I, I was, I was shaking from that. I, I I felt truly I think worst I think I felt the worst I felt for somebody in this show in that moment and I which is insane because there's so many crazy moments but just the way he was talking and how good we've seen him they showed him through this episode they really showed him in an, a positive light which seems to be the reality he was always this good person and Aaron like used him for this obviously there has to be a reason why Aaron's doing that. And uh, it seems to be him having to have seen the future or something. But I, anyway, I could talk about this forever. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123. 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.